But one last thing on the business side, you just touched on this a moment. And I, I mean, a lot of people don't understand the monetization side of YouTube. I don't either. I mean, the number I've heard is for every thousand views, give or take, you get four to eight dollars. But explain briefly how you get compensated by people watching your videos on YouTube or Facebook. Yeah. So basically when you watch one of my videos on, on YouTube or Facebook, but we'll use YouTube for an example, there's a pre-roll ad. So you'll have a five or 15 second ad that you can't skip at the beginning of the video. And then there's mid ad breaks. So after 10 minutes, after 20 minutes, depending on how long the video is, you can add these mid ad breaks, which will be a 10 or 15 second ad for, and YouTube knows that YouTube is Google and Google knows everything about you because they know what you search. So if you search for, um, camera equipment, then you'll probably have an ad for a Sony camera. That's just how it works. And so I get paid by all these brands. I get paid through YouTube, but let's use a Sony example. The Sony will pay, um, YouTube and YouTube will pay me because Sony wants to get their, their message spread. It's the same way that ads work. Like just think about the Super Bowl is the easiest example for people to understand. The Super Bowl gets viewed, the more viewers you get, the more money you make. So obviously the Super Bowl gets, I don't, I have no idea. I'm going to say 30 million viewers in the Super Bowl, maybe probably more. So obviously you get paid a lot more because you have so many eyeballs on that content. And that's why it costs mm -hmm. like $5 million minimum to make a Super Bowl commercial. If my video gets millions of views, then I make a lot more money because that ad is being seen by a lot more people. It also depends on who's watching. So uh, it's called purchasing power parity is the economics term. Uh, so basically the highest CPM or cost per million, is that what it is? Yeah, highest cost per million uh, is, a, is the USA, which means one, not every viewer is the same. One American viewer is worth a lot more in money than one anyone else. But I'm going to pick on, I'm not picking on. Okay, let's say I have a lot of people. I have a, yeah, well, I was going to say Pakistan. Um, or the Philippines. So they have a much lower chance to buy whatever product they're getting seen mm -hmm. because of economics. So if there's a $3,000 camera being advertised on YouTube and you see it, Rick, you and you're in the US, by the stat, by the stat, this is statistically speaking, this is not you know my opinion, you have a much higher chance of buying that camera than someone in Pakistan. And that's mm -hmm. why I will, I will get a dollar, I will get a dollar if you watch it and I'll, and I'll get three cents for a Pakistani person. Th those numbers are, are obviously. So, so yeah, I, I have about 25% American audience, 5% uh, UK, 5% Australia, 5% Canada. So that makes up like 40 something percent, which is great. And then I have 10% India. Uh, no, I have like 15% India, 10% Philippines. And then, you know, between Africa and South America and, and Europe make up the rest. Hmm. Um, and Oceania. Um, so, so yeah, so that's kind of how it works with the ads. Um, and I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about numbers because everybody asks. So I make between 20 and $80,000 a month on YouTube. 80,000 being the highest month of 2021 was 80,000. The lowest month was 20,000, depending on how many views come in and who's watching. So Saudi, like Emirates and Saudi Arabia are actually in that high tier of, mm -hmm. so my Saudi videos are going to do really well for me because a lot of Saudis are going to watch them. And so if I'm, if I'm just selfish about the business, if I'm just thinking about money, I would go to Japan. Uh, I would go to Singapore, Hong Kong, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, more in the US. I would make videos. I would make more videos in those countries because I know I would make more money. Mm. Um, did I cut out or am I, am I still there? You cut nope, out. Nope, you're, you're okay. good. You're good. Okay, so, so let me just wrap this thought up. So yeah, you make more money depending on who's watching. Twenty to 80000 a month on YouTube, Facebook is the lowest month is like 10,000 and the highest is like 40,000 per, per month. Um, and, 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 and ad revenue is my highest uh, piece of the pie. And then brand sponsorships is a whole nother way that I make money. And that's pretty straightforward. A company like Sony is a big sponsor of mine. So a company like Sony will pay me around $20,000 to do a little dedicated integration in one of my videos where I talk about the product and how I love it and uh, maybe post about it on Instagram. And then I try to do one or two of those a month. So if you add up the numbers, um, they get pretty high. And also I did course, I did courses, uh, which I sold for 200 bucks a pop and I sold like 700 of them. And then I have brand merchandise. And so, and there's a lot of, you know, there's some speaking engagements here or there. Um, so there's a lot of ways to, to make money. And this year was kind of a breakthrough year for me in terms of that. So, 
Um, and also because I have a home and I have an office and I have mental space to, to really focus on ha- and doing these conversations, I'm able to, when you travel all the time, it gets really hard, man, to, 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 to grow a business. I, I, I can, uh, concur with that so yeah i I mean that's awesome thanks for sharing and breaking down those numbers congratulations more continued success